Hello YouTube, Pear Shake Brit here and welcome back to Pear Ambassador. Well, as promised in January, the some of these episodes are going to be Jerry Anderson exclusive. I'm not being sponsored or anything by Jerry Anderson, I just I just love Jerry Anderson. Focus Kirsty, focus. <laughs> this January just gone, the official Jerry Anderson website and their official shop have launched a brand new scheme. Every month there is going to be free exclusive t-shirt designs that we as the viewers get to vote on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. After a very small period of voting time, whichever one has the most likes, comments and shares is the one that's chosen and the other two designs we never see again. So as an example, uh, this month, uh, February, three t-shirts to desire from are as follows. The first one is this one which is black with blue. I This is actually my personal favorite just because of that. It's got all the vehicles from all of Jerry Anderson series and this is the one I have been voting on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, sharing and just telling people vote for this one. Number two is this one. This one, I love the colors, but uh, as I said, number one is my personal favorite. I gotta admit, it's nice to hime back to the original design, especially TV 21 Century, especially with all the comics and stuff that were tied in with the magazine. And number three is this one. So this one is more tied in with more earlier Super Mario Nation style uh, sh shows which is Supercar. I gotta admit again I really do like it, it's quite a fun unique design. Just the way it kind of fades, the title fades in and you've got the car at the end. It's really good design. This month's these three are really really quite strong but there you are, so that's February's. So you've actually only got till the 3rd of March to vote for these. Which everyone has the most likes will be the one that we get to order. The other two you ain't gonna see them again guys, sorry! Once of course the date for the vote has finished, uh, they'll count up which everyone's got the most likes and then the next day onwards for just a week, so just seven days only, you get to pre-order them. Uh, say number one for example one, then from the 4th of March up until the 11th of March, you've got time to pre-order it. And afterwards, that's it, bang, you, you can't pre-order anymore. Probably the only chance you could buy it is if someone sells it on eBay. Obviously then they'll uh, total up how many people have ordered and then obviously that'll get produced and then sent out. But look, they said it's gonna be, the t-shirts are coming out at the end of the following month. So January's, uh, we voted, got to pre-order it for the first week of February and then it's literally only just got sent out this week. For February is obviously we're voting between now and the beginning of March pre-ordering it beginning of March and obviously it'll be sent out hopefully the end of March so it should arrive between end of March to beginning of April. Almost feels like a subscription box and guess what? There are two price options for everyone. First one is the t-shirts are all £15 no matter what so when, I, when you get to pre-order it it's just £15 and that does include the postage. The second option is where this mall comes in and Pear Ambassador takes over is the fact that you can subscribe for just £12, including postage. So you're saving £3 already, which is awesome. And we're always guaranteed the exclusive t-shirt. And what the best part is, it's available in a massive range of sizes, including lady sizes. Hella freaking Lula. I love Jerry Anderson, I love their shop, I love their stuff, but one thing that annoys me when it comes to the t-shirts is barely any of them come in lady sizes. I have been pestering and pestering them to know why, why, why no lady sizes? Like they launched so many new t-shirts last year. And like two of them came in lady sizes, just two. Enough of that, as I said, February, uh, January, January we voted and it came and went. Uh, we got to pre-order it. And guess what arrived? I think I will say, I'm, I'm kind of hoping if this does pick up a little bit, especially if the subscription service picks up, I hopefully they'll put it in something a little bit more that looks a bit more Jerry Anderson-like, especially compare it to other subscription services. So one one thing that could probably expand on like a Jerry Anderson envelope or something really fun like that. <laughs> That's really cool. So you got that as well. We have a little bit of a Terra Hawks reference. That's quite cute. This was Jamie's winning design and BAM! <gasps> I think you can kind of see why this one won. But I did promise also in the beginning of January with my update video that uh, with the Pear Ambassador series there is going to be a new way of me uh, grading things. So I figured with this being the first thing that has arrived for Pear Ambassador, 
I might as well bring in the new grading system. There'll be four different options that they're all gonna be out of 10 or five pairs. Number one is the design out of 10 pairs. This is gonna be very much the logo, graphics, uh, style of the team, that kind of thing, what they've done with the t-shirt and how it incorporates it, including positioning on the body, where everything sits and this uh, through the video is going to change depending on obviously where it looks like what's physically on the human body as well number two out of out of ten pairs is going to be quality should speak for itself is just the quality of the fabric quality of the stitching quality of how they finished it off as well next one out of ten pairs is the fit should speak for itself how does it fit on the body how does it look position of the neck sleeves that kind of stuff and lastly, number four out of five pairs is gonna be just the general overall impression. Overall, each item's gonna have out a chance out of maximum total of 35 pairs in total. Let's judge the exclusive monthly t-shirt with the new graining system. Okay, well, I love it. This is why I voted for it. I really, really love it. So out of, this is gonna be quite sure. Uh, out of the design, I'm gonna match you just it's going to be 10 out of 10. Look at it, I love the colours, I love the way they use the logo, they incorporated each of the uh, five vehicles, that's, it's amazing and I love it and again it's it's why I voted for it. <laughs> Next is going to be the quality out of 10 pairs, uh, the fabric itself, good nice, it's a really good jersey, it's thick but it's thin at the same time. English weather in this kind of jersey is really good, it's not overly stretchy, it's not going to lose its shape which is really good because some jerseys these will lose their shape quite quickly. There doesn't seem to be a stitch out of place at all, which is really nice. Uh, have, I have noticed it looks to be like a little bit of a white mark there. Is it cleanable? That's a little, that's a little bit disappointing. That's going to lose some marks there. Uh, quality of the print itself. Nothing seems to be coming off really good. There are quite a few marks on the t-shirt itself where it's, huh, yeah, it's a little bit dirty in places which is a bit of a shame. So I'll probably give it about seven out of ten pairs for quality. Let's get on to the fit. Okay, well here it is. Here is the t-shirt actually on. Uh, one thing I'm gonna say immediately is the length. Oh my god, do I love the length of this t-shirt. It's, I sometimes find with uh, any geek inspired t-shirts, they tend to be kind of quite short, so they sit here on me, which, because I've got a bit curves, they tend to go for this. It, it's nice, it's sitting just below my hip line. Oh god, I love it. I just, I just tend to find longer t-shirts for me anyway, it flatters me a lot better. And I think a lot of women themselves are quite more comfortable when the t-shirt is a bit long, so that that that's already a, a good mark for me, I like that. Uh, next thing, obviously, uh, it's a bit more noticeable, is the tightness a little bit on the arms. That's, that's one thing that lets it down a little bit. Uh, I've actually gone for a ladies large, and you can see that uh, it's, it's kind of snug on the arms. Neckline. It sits really comfortably up high. Uh, that's quite a good length, I think for both men and women. Good neckline, sits comfortably. It doesn't feel like I'm being strangled, which is always one big problem sometimes with t-shirts. Uh, you can see where it curves in nicely. It's curving in a really good place, but it's not too clingy. It just, it helps just settle everything. Uh, I love it, love it loads. Uh, yeah, it's comfortable, I can move. It is just a shame on the arms. I think I do think someone needs to re, re those. Uh, so in terms of fit, I'm gonna have to give it about an eight out of ten pairs. Going back to the design, it's it's still a ten for me. Uh, the position of the IR symbol is really nice. It it doesn't uh, where it sometimes you find when t-shirts sit, especially on females' chests, it kind of distorts a little bit, just because of our chest area, guys. But this, the way that it's placed, the size of it, you can still see it, it looks really good, it works. Oh my god, I just, I love it. I love it so much and you can just see Thunderbird 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and Thunderbird 6. Oh, I love it, I love it so much. If I have to be really nitpicky, and this is being really, really nitpicky, I'd actually like to see 
lids and maybe some designs on the back or just to see uh, maybe for future time with Tahitia designs to see them go from the front into the back as well you don't really see it on a lot of like the subscription t-shirts and I would love to see that done where you've got front and the back because you know as people we are 3d objects you know we're 3d we're not flat 2d things and it would be quite nice to see them incorporate stuff especially for Jerry Anderson stuff like you could do so many things like have um Okay, take for example supercar because I'm literally just focusing on supercar. You could have like the stream of it going through and then actually having the car on the back would just starting to go through on the side. I would really like to see something like that. We start to hopefully maybe see them do alternative necklines. Um, I mean, crew neck is fine, but I think sometimes you can do a lower crew neck um, v-necks as well. I'd like to see them maybe play around with crew necks and sleeve length like to see them do more longer sleeves as well. I would love a longer sleeve t-shirt. Okay, so we've done design, quality and fit. Lastly is the overall impression. Um, taking everything on board, the design itself, how the design works, uh, the fit, the quality of the t-shirt. Uh, I'm gonna give this t-shirt, my overall impression of this t-shirt is a four out of five pairs. While I'm a bit nitpicky with the sleeves, um, obviously quality, there's a couple of dirty marks on there. I cannot design the design, the uh, IR logo, such a high impact uh, and the way it fits me as well, which is really nice. Uh, it's taken it quite high, so I'm definitely gonna put it at a four. Sorry, I am just, I am just gushing, really, really gushing. So with our new grading system, what is the overall score of the t-shirt? So, design saw the t-shirt get a whopping 10 out of 10 pairs. Quality saw it get 7 out of 10 pairs. Fit, again, fairly high with 8 out of 10 pairs. And following on, again, another high score of, with the overall impression being 4 out of 5 pairs. Jerry Anderson's January's exclusive t-shirt gave it an overall score of 29 out of 35 pairs. Well done. The first ever pair ambassador video of 2017, that is not a bad score to start with the year, and especially for such a new subscription service with Jerry Anderson. The t-shirt I'm currently wearing, you cannot order, it has been and gone. You might get lucky on eBay, but I doubt it. However, you are still just in time to both vote and then pre-order the next t-shirt design. What a quick reminder of what their designs are. Design number one, which obviously incorporates all the vehicles from all the Jerry Anderson shows. Design number two, which is more of a reference to the comic strip and mag the magazine and comic strip that went alongside Jerry Anderson stuff. And then obviously number three, next to a uh, reference to one of the first ever proper Super Mario Nation shows, Supercar, with a really cute design, I cannot deny it. With the designs you've got until the 3rd of March, so like it, share it as much as you can, mass share it, drive people insane. The more likes and shares that your favourite t-shirt design gets, the more likely you're going to be able to, that one's going to win. And don't forget, from the 4th of March, you'll be able to pre-order that one, but only for 7 days. So you've only got until the 11th of March to pre-order. So that was the first episode of Bear Ambassador 2017. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new grading system I think it's gonna be really good I really like it a lot of things things have got a tweak especially when it comes to like food and edible items because you know I'll be doing those hello beastly beverages tell me what you guys think of the new t-shirt and also out of the three which one's your personal favorite as I said mine was number one if you want to pre-order obviously the Facebook page and the official shop are will, will be linked down below okay? So keep a lookout guys for the rest of Pear Catch Up Mum. Um, as I said, most of it's now gonna be vlog videos, but a lot of it I have to do some voiceover work, which is obviously taking a lot more time than I personally would like. I've also alongside that, I've got a couple of extra little vlog videos coming out as well. So please keep your eye out on those. But until then, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye YouTube.